And of course, after this preliminary portion of the card, 9 p.m. UK time, BT Sport UFC Fight Pass will be live with the great Cage Warriors 85 main card. Ladies and gentlemen, we come now to three rounds in the Cage Warriors lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of three wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall and weighed in at 154 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Bridgewater, Somerset, England, Sean Laidback Luther. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A BJJ fighter and kickboxer tonight making his professional debut. Standing five feet ten inches tall. He weighed in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Bournemouth by way of Brazil. Luis Finocchio. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Rich Mitchell. Referee Rich Mitchell about to get this one underway. Sean Luther in the brown camo shorts. Luis Finocchio in the black. Three five minute Ready. rounds in the Cage Ready. Warriors lightweight Let's division. Stop. Rich Mitchell gets this one underway. And it's immediately Luther taking the center of the cage here. Nice leg kicks to start things off. From way back. That kick's caught is immediately bulldozed to the mat there. Yeah. Just waiting for the moment, cut that leg kick. Was Almost looked like he was waiting for it. Maybe he was scouted, I don't know. But it's because definitely dangerous area right now for Sean Luther. Luther, 24 years of age, Finocchio, 28. Both men standing five foot ten, so neither with a discernible height or reach advantage here. But as we possibly expected with a, a BJJ black belt, this one's going straight to the ground. And this really is Finocchio's wheelhouse. Yeah, and you. Been training hard already, he's had a break for about a year since his last, um, his last amateur fight. Be interested to see what he's learned. So quite a bit of him, and he, he really seemed keen to work on his all round game. But when you're as good at your guard as this, you're going to go with what you know. Absolutely stuck straight through into Mark. Landing some big shots. Luther turning his back. He's clearly rocked there, Brad. But the Brazilian just tries to flatten him down. Looking for that submission. Yeah, this is not where you want to be early in the first round with the BJJ Black Belt riding your back like this. Nice short elbow there from Pinocchio. Yeah, not the first one he's landed either. Definitely lacking these pro rules, bro. Big, big punches coming down from the Brazilian. You already see him hooking that arm in. And if Luther gives him an inch, he'll take a mile from this position. Yeah, just pinning that arm down. But then look. He sees the ring, hopes to make the strikes, and elbows there. He wants no. to be careful. He doesn't know the 12 for 6. And the referee there just warning about the shot placement. Can't hit the back of the head. He's got to be careful. Again, he landed to, near to the back of the head. Rich Mitchell definitely watching there closely. But Pinocchio right now just looking dominant and, and aggressive. Cranking up the volume on those punches, he's got the neck here as well. Luther goes to his back. Yeah, look, Luther there done the right thing. Almost gave his neck. Gives up position. Although this isn't great, he's kind of in a slightly better position than he was. The Brazilian's looking for that shake. And he's done well to get out of several bad positions there. Absolutely. Oh, there's some big punches coming in there. A huge tear on Luther. He just took some incredible shots. Yeah, Pinocchio really relentless. Looked like he'd lost the advantage, coming straight back down and striped, opening up Luther. Luther looking to his corner for help, but he really needs to do something to stop this, this barrage of strikes from the Brazilian. Oh, he's got to get this one back on his feet. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Pinocchio just keeping up a steady pace here of hard. Damaging punches. Exactly, every time you look like Luther is out of a bad position. But up here, he's there, look again. Look like Luther's gonna get out straight back now. It's Pinocchio's guard, he's gotta be careful. He doesn't fall into a submission here. 
against the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Oh, you already see Falocchio looking for that Kimura grip, perhaps just switching the hips there. Just puts the heel of the foot on his man's thigh, able to briefly push him away. And you've got to believe that the BJJ black belt is not at all bothered about finding his way out of this position here. That's and such a sweep already. Back to their feet. It's going to be interesting now to see what Luther can do, but again, a sloppy kick and it's cool. And there's the takedown of Kembra. And he's looking for the neck right there. Trying to crack that. Eat. He's got it just underneath the jaw, but it's not fully secured. Only in the half guard as well, so he's going to find it very difficult to finish that submission anyway. It really is more of a power over technique submission. And Finocchio again just able to pull his way out and land more of those really damaging shots from top position. Sean Luther bleeding now. Again gives up his back and again Finocchio just sizing his man up. And again landing some elbows right there. And a nice elbow to the side of the head there. But just managed to just, you know, work for it, get it out. And we can see here on the replay, work from the start, sizing each other up there. And there's the kick and the takedown. And that led to, you know, the opening couple of minutes there of him struggling. And we see here right now, Bad, strikes opening up. He gave away his back, but for not the Looked like he was going to go for the submission, but he just didn't care. He's just enjoying it. He's having fun out there, landing these strats. Absolutely. You know, first fight is a professional, perhaps wanting to get some cage time in. Looking very, very comfortable in doing so against Sean Luther. Luther now looking very spry on his feet. Certainly ready, not looking ready. dejected here at all. And perhaps we're going to see a, a bit of a comeback here in the second round from the Savage MMA fighter. And again, Lupo starts off the round for kicking, needs to be careful. Good, good fake there by Finocchio to a takedown, but Lupo just being over so far to sprawl out of it. Yeah, nice, nice sprawl. Nice sprawl there. Looking to take his man's back, but Finocchio able to get back to his feet. And he's swinging wildly there, he just needs to just calm down slightly, he doesn't need to leave himself open. If there's one thing Luther's good at, if you watch his past fights, he, he can capitalise on people's mistakes. Luther looking to get those hands going, but as soon as he plants his feet, he's taken back down to the mat. Yeah, great level change there by the Brazilian. Just a little bit too static with that punching combination with Luther there. And for not going over to snap that top down. Luther there just getting wound again. Um, the shots to the back of the head. Just trying to make things a little bit uncomfortable there for Finocchio on top. And again, Finocchio passes the guard into full mount straight away. Finocchio, as you say, in the Simon Sports Club. Really is looking to be a a, a well-rounded fighter, perhaps a little wild with the strikes, but when your bread and butter on the ground is that good, you yeah. can afford to, to, to give a little leeway on, on the feet, I suppose. And, and these are only things that you're going to learn, you know, as you progress through as a fighter. You know, this is only his pro debut, yeah, he's had five amateur fights, but we know of anyway. Um, but, yeah, this is, the, this is the proving ground, as we said time and time again, and he's on the start. You know, of his MMA career, and so far he's looking good, even if he can't, if he is looking just a little bit raw. Looking to get high on the mat now, dropping some elbows and punches. Looking very dangerous with those short elbows. Definitely giving Luford so much to think about as he's on his back right now. You know, it's such a big part of the, the jump to the professional game as well. 
just learning how to utilize those elbows. You know, they're such a better weapon in short range because you don't need the big leverage like you need on the punch to do the damage. You can drop a few elbows onto the face. Chances are you're going to open up a cut or make it very, very uncomfortable for the man on the bottom position. Yeah, and also with the extra two minutes in the pro fights as well, if you are in a bad situation, especially early on in the round, you can hit it a long, long time. That's a long time mentally as well as physically, and you know, when the clock doesn't stop ticking and you're taking that kind of sustained punishment, even if it's not fight ending shots, it's got to be disheartening. And that's the situation Sean Luther's in now. He's going to have to dig deep into his mental reserves if he's going to get through the second round. Dropping a few short elbows of his own from the bottom position. Trying to get the guard up nice and high there is Luther, but it doesn't look like Pinocchio, the black belt feels to be in danger at any point from this position. Yeah, that's true, but, but one thing I am noticing in this round is just the uh, the tempo's just gone down a tad. Finocchio, maybe he's just uh, being frustrated a little bit by Lufa, who is defending much better in this round. But uh, again, I'm wondering the transition to the pro rank with the longer rounds is just starting to take its toll just a little bit. And you have to question the adrenaline dump as well. First pro fight for Finocchio. First fight on a big show like Cage Warriors for both these young men. Stream live around the world, big crowd here in Bournemouth. Yeah, we've seen many, many times before that adrenaline dub really start to affect fighters early on. Yeah, that's right, Brandon. And also as well, he's only in activity in fight time. But that said, instead of great performance, oh, beautiful, sweet, beautiful. Unbelievable stuff. And that's the high-level BJJ ground game right there. You know, they, they often say of uh, BJJ fighters transitioning to MMA, you lose a belt rank every time you get punched in the face, but Pinocchio is, 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 is throwing that uh, he's throwing that out the window today here, and he looks so comfortable in there. And, and to pull off sweeps like that in full MMA rules, phenomenal stuff. Luther looking for an arm there. Oh, Pinocchio pulls out, what? able to ride the back, and again... Again, he's told by Rich Mitchell, we've up, hit up, the up. end of the round, but up, 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 up. referee called time there. Too many times, too many times. He's now going to take a point, it seems. Yeah, you can, you can see Rich Mitchell admonishing him there right now, saying too many times. No, no indication there was a point there, though, bud. Well, the, the, the round is over, so I, I, I believe the usual procedure in this case would be to take the point at the end of the round, we'll see if that's what the referee deems appropriate. And as we see here in the replay, another takedown to start the round. Pinocchio there, just landing strikes again. And as you said, you know, Rich Mitchell has been warning him throughout the bout. Absolutely, and yeah, there's only so many. You know, it, it can happen by accident, it can happen in the heat of the moment, and the referee will usually give a leeway if it seems like an accidental foul. But as you say, and he's been warned a number of times now, it'll be interesting to see uh, if that was a final warning, or indeed he is going to take a point. And it looks like Pinocchio may have got away with it on this occasion, Ian. Stay back, stay back. Gents, let's keep this clean. Do you understand? Let's go. And Rich Mitchell leaving both fighters in no uncertain terms that he wants a clean fight in this last round. Nobody wants to see a fight stop, Brad, because, because of an illegal, um, an illegal strike or, or something unfortunate like that, especially in round three, when both fighters have been fighting for over 10 minutes. And your credit as well. To Sean Luther, not giving in, and it's going to be interesting to see. Well, what Luther, he can Luther's looking sharp here in, in this third round. Pinocchio seems to be on the back there, here. and Luther, and the right punch of the drops him with an uppercut. Luther needs to be very careful here, dropping some big elbows. Pinocchio spins with the knee bar. Good recovery by the Brazilian, not out of the woods yet. He's, he's attacking that knee for all his work. And they're going to step into that half guard top position. Luther looking for the leg right here. Luther looking for a heel hook. Should be able to kick his way out. Not the ideal type of 
Joshua Blakeman to round three of a fight like this under these lights. But credit to Sean Luther. Luther fighting him every step of the way here. And it has to be said, Luther looking extremely confident that he can get something out of this third round. He's got Pinocchio on his back now, though, Ian. Not where he wants to be. But early on in that round, Pinocchio looks bad. Yeah. And this is an uncharted territory, either for Luther. He's gone um, late into round three before. Early this year against Roscoe. He um, won by submission in round three. But right now, again, we're going back to what's happened this whole fight with the Brazilian on top. And again, now, look at just a, a secured now. And again, a downward Stop. elbow. Time. And he might have just Time out. run out a lot Go right stand there. over there. This, Go stand over there. This will almost this certainly be a point. Downward elbow. Why? Downward this, elbow. Go stand over this there. This might even be too bad. You cannot throw. Doctor! You cannot throw an elbow Stay from the up. 12 to 6 position. If you imagine in your mind's eye a clock face, if that elbow travels directly vertically down, that's an illegal Just elbow. An illegal blow. In cutting. Now, the doctor's been called in. Uh, that illegal elbow did cause a, a very small cut. I, I doubt, I doubt that's going to be of any uh, significant impairment to him. The referee asking if the fight is able to continue. Of course, the issue here is whether it's affected the vision at all. Yeah, it does look like there's swelling there as well. Brad. Over there. Go stand over there. Don't move. Stay right here for me, please. Okay. And the referee just directing uh, Pinocchio so to a neutral continue? corner there. Come over here for me, please. Stand there. And he's going to put... He's going to put down with elbow. in the neutral it's corner. One in a series. No. Straight down. One in a series of fouls. That's just you understand Rich me? Mitchell here. One point. One point. One point. Uh, and I, would, I would venture that uh, Lewis Vinocchio perhaps, perhaps Wait, lucky to get away with just one point. Are you there. ready to continue? Yeah. Are you with ready to continue? Always, but, uh, I would not, not expect to too bad. I wouldn't have been surprised. The crowd are unhappy. But that being said, I think Rich Mitchell rolled in his racks. Yeah, Luther got to restart the fight on his feet again, but Pinocchio already diving in on that takedown. Yeah, and what I will say, Brad, I'm not even sure if that point deduction is actually going to affect things. There's arguments that the first round could have been a 10-8 to the Brazilian anyway. But it'd be very frustrating if he, if this fight does go the distance and Luther puts on a dominant end, and it is a draw, he, that's, that's a win thrown away. But I, I don't foresee that happening right now. And Luther just able to shuck his man off with pure force there. Already Finocchio back in on the takedown. Luther not looking as sharp as he did at the beginning of this round. He's got two minutes left to get something out of this fight. And we see Luther now just arcing those elbows, making them legal. And those elbows are going to take their toll this late into the fight. If Finocchio's going to be sitting here resting, you can be sure that Luke is going to What's get back? more and more adventures. Oh, great ankle pick there from Finocchio. Changing levels again. And, you know, Luke is still working from his back here, Ian, but I, I kind of get the feeling now that time may be his greatest enemy here. Yes. Yeah, the Brazilian definitely eating up seconds in this position. Just needs to be careful. And again, great, great transition work. Passes through his guard, he lands more strikes. There, there really is a gulf of ability here when it comes to the ground game, which is what we expected. And Pinocchio has been able to exploit that at his leisure in all three rounds. Yeah, and like you said, it's as you expect, he's just landing some strikes. But again, the work rate's gone down. Uh, look at all this lobby and then look for it, get the target. Looking for the leg. Trying to get that heel hook, just slipped off. So difficult, so late in the fight. Luther trying to tie something up here. The corner wanting him to, to use, use a can opener to get up, and he does. He needs to step away now. And to up this goes to a bad position. Luther launching strikes. And Luther with 30 seconds left. Take down from the Brazilian. It's a late 
diamond head bro. But he's dug deep and got the touchdown. And even now, Luke is landing these elbows. What's the back of his head? Not, it's not going to be enough. What a fight here on the Cage Warriors 85 prelims. Oh, I believe we, uh, we missed the buzzer there. The fight is over. Time right now. I know, I know. Just a whisper. Uh, I need more. Late drama there in the third round. It looked like Sean Luther might have just been able to pull a rabbit out of the hat there in the final minute or so. Unfortunately, time just ran out of him. Yes, time ran out, but also at the clutch, Pinocchio just done enough to stop it. And there you go, you see on the replay right there, big uppercut. And there again, looking for the leg, just not enough. There's that elite elbow for Pinocchio, costing the point. And what more could you ask for to kick off our prelim card here at Cage Wars 85? A real rough and tumble back and forth out there, Ian. Yeah, might not be one for the purists, but it's definitely uh, got this crowd alive here in Bournemouth. Absolutely. You know, they don't all have to be pretty, but that one was certainly exciting. And the crowd here at the Ultra Academy in Bournemouth showing their appreciation. We're going to throw this one to our MC, Andy Friedlander, in a moment's time. Judges tallying their scorecards. It's going to be interesting here, with that point deduction, if, uh, if Luther was given the third round, we, we may have a draw in our hands, we may not. Stranger well, things have happened. Cra yeah, crazy things have happened. I don't expect that to happen here. With, but uh, as you said, this is MMA, and you never know. Sometimes these things happen in MMA. Fighters will join the referee in the centre of the cage, and here's Andy Friedlander to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 29-26, 28-27, and 29-26 in favour of the winner. By unanimous decision, Luis Pinocchio! Well, a couple of different scorecards there, Ian, but as we expected, Pinocchio with the victory, as you say, most likely a 10-8 in that first round. And even though he lost the point in the third, a solid win for the Brazilian, Luis Finocchio. <laughs> Luis Finocchio going to join Andy Friedlander in the cage. We'll get to hear his thoughts on the bat just gone. Luis Finocchio, fantastic performance, very entertaining. Um, it seemed in your pro debut that you'd maybe misjudged your opponent because he had some strikes, you kept going to the ground. Was that always going to be the plan? Yes, since the beginning. I want to get him to the ground as quick as possible. But my opponent was pretty fit. I struggled a little bit, but I'm really happy with the result. My first uh, pro fight, and I won. You did win. You, you obviously relied because you're a seasoned Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter on the ground game, but it did seem in the second round there were some strikes uh, that caught you. Were you damaged at that point? Uh, yeah, I kind of got hit with a knee. Kind of felt it was around my face, but I managed to keep going. And uh, thank you, everyone. Good, good turn out. Boom of lovely crowd, you know. I'm always welcome down here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's a pleasure to watch you fight. Thank you very much. Um, you wanted my hand or the mic? You can have my hand. You can have anything you want. You won tonight. Congratulations, Mr. Luis Pinocchio. Can, well done. Well, the crowd here in Bournemouth showing their appreciation for Luis Pinocchio. We are just one hour away from the main card of Cage Warriors 85, live here at the Bournemouth O2 Academy 
But up next, we've got more preliminary action on our live stream. Roman Bidet, Josh McManus in welterweight action. That's coming up very shortly here on our Cage Warriors 85 live preliminary stream. Stay with us, more action in the cage coming your way.